Hi, I'm Paul Toll from PaulToll.com and in this video I'm going to show you the basic um, installation of a game into the porting kit. So, uh, first of all, some website, uh, PaulToll.com, here are all the news, etc. Um, on the portingkit.com you can download the porting kit. Uh, both uh, websites are uh, hosted by me but uh, I hosted this specific one for the, the porting kit itself, the application and this is one is more for the um, yeah for the um, the news and everything around porting etc. So um, download the porting kit from portingkit.com and then you can open it and yeah, you will see on the news my website with all the news etc so this way you can always keep a track about what is new uh, and um, yeah you can uh, you are a little bit updated of uh, of the latest things on the library tab all the action will take place uh, we have a local tab and a server tab the local tab are the games you have installed locally on your computer in my case those three games um, and uh, here you can also uh, play the uh, play it uh, by uh, selecting it and then click play and then uh, the game will just launch as we can see here um, well then we have uh, <coughs> the server tab where all the game ports which are available in the porting kit are there uh, growing daily uh, with uh, lots of games and in the end um, it uh, it uh, it should be that all the games on portal.com should be available on the server tab so there will be no need for manual downloading any wrappers anymore because the porting kit will take that place because the porting kit will do all that stuff manually um, automatically um, well on the server tab you have uh, two categories of games you've got um, the um, the full games like the free games which will be automatically installed uh, and also downloaded like for example uh, too fast driver uh, you can uh, um, well, just download using the download link and it will uh, automatically download uh, uh, the, the engine, it will uh, do the tweaks, it will automatically download the game itself, the free game from myplaysitypin.com and uh, it will install it and then uh, the only thing you have to do is click a couple of times next next finish and then it will be available in your uh, local tab where you can click play to play it simple as that in the future uh, those free games will also contain a little icon where you can see which one of all those games are free games because now it's hard to see which one is free or not um, for example so the strike is also a free game here from uh, gametop.com um, but also um, like um, Pioneer Lands, also a free game top version, um, which can be automatically downloaded. Also, cool is this watch trailer, like if you want to see um, what the game is about, then uh, this is very handy to, uh, to see which one is uh, in your taste. But then we have uh, the, the um, commercial wrappers. Uh, which needs uh, also the Windows game itself. So the porting kit will um, uh, install uh, of create the wrapper and create uh, the tweaks and all the work but you still need the Windows game in order to um, well to play it on your Mac. Well we take an example for example Aqua Kitty. Um, you say hey I like this game I want this game you can click on the download button you first read what's in the description which version is um, uh, is tested and recommended 
well in this game is the com version is recommended and tested my advice is to use that one because um, yeah uh, this one is DRM free it's tested and um, will also uh, automatically installed uh, when you use the uh, GOG to come version in the porting kit. If you click download, let's let's make it practical. Click download. Then it will ask save as Aqua Kitty. Well, you can also rename it to whatever you want as, an, as the file name, but just keep it this way. Click on save. And then it will first say buy app that you already bought the Windows game and download the setup file. Well, if you don't purchase the game yet, you can click on no and it will go automatically to the uh, GOG.com version and um, yeah, you can purchase it if you want. But if you already own it, then um, just download it um, from your um, account, from your library and then you can um, uh, download Aqua Kitty and then you can uh, download it from your library and I recommend it to install it directly to your download folder because then it will automatically uh, the porting kit will automatically detect the game into the download folder and then automatically start the game so before running the, uh, the installation make sure the file is already in a download folder otherwise you need to um, manually select the sort of file afterwards and of course that's no problem but but uh, it's more neat and, and nice to well let porting kit do all the work but if you have another version of aqua kitty for example and from another game company which have his own um, setup file then no worries um, if you click on save uh, we say yes uh, it will first uh, download the, the engine, it will extract it, it will do the tweaks, um, but there will also be a situation where um, uh, when doing the tweaks, the wine tricks, that uh, the uh, uh, porting kit needs a specific file. As you can see here, that uh, it will pop up now with a window that it needs MX XML 3. Well, what you only have to do is first download the specific uh, file as you, it's mentioned here. For this case, it's MX XML 3.0. And if you download that, that file, you have to put into that folder. So it's, it will say here too. You see, you need to download XML SME in the open folder, otherwise the wine trick installation won't work. Well, then you go to your downloads folder where you have downloaded the MSXML file, 3 file, and you move it into this folder. This is a one time action only. So if this XML MSE is needed in any other games, then it won't ask this again so this will be a one-time only action only so um, for example this XML3 file is needed for also for R2 or for Die Hard Dungeon or for Fahrenheit or whatever then this message won't pop, again, pop up again because you already put this file into this folder so I hope this is a little bit clear uh, it's very easy but um, you need to know what to do and that's why I'm showing it. Alright, now we can click this away because we um, uh, we put this MS X, MS, uh, XML3 into this folder. We click, Did you, do you save the file? We say yes. And now it will do the, the, the wine trick and installation. And we have to click on accept. Next, next, install. Finish. And again, um, with the first couple of games it might be happening that uh, that it needs um, a specific one trick but as I mentioned um, this 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 are one-time actions only so in the end if you installed a few of those one tricks most of the time um, you won't see any messages again
well then the installation will take place of some other one tricks so the more you do use it the less and also very easy with the FreeB. It's only a little bit of uh, getting to know the program and then uh, you will love it. As I love it as well. This is the the stable beta already. So um, the newer releases will also contain that you are able to rate the specific game. Um, there will also be uh, and that little icons here. Oh, here you see that the setup file is uh, is popping up now because I have this setup file of uh, GG.com downloaded in my, to my download folder, and the porting kit is now recognizing it. So I'm gonna install it now. Yep. Close, next, accept, next. Yeah, there might be some some um, error messages while installing, but it won't affect the game in any way. Exit. This may be also in some other installations here, but as I said, it won't affect end the game at any way. At the end of the installation, we'll see all those shortcuts which were here put here were automatically deleted. So that's awesome. Um, then the the port creation finished successfully. You click OK, and then we go to the local tab, and here we are. So when we click now play, I'll take a bit. We were launches. There we go. Well, and then we can play. All right. Yeah. Oops. Well, <laughs> that's easier. <laughs> All right. Um, well, uh, well. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you back on Bolts of the Car. Um, hope you see a little bit how to uh, install a game now. Um, this is the uh, same way with all the other games. And uh, if you don't like it anymore, you can just remove it. And you can say, ah. To remove it from your computer, yes. Also from the disk, yes. So, um, thank you for watching, and um, see you back on Paul to the car. Bye bye.